This ball is in the left center field. South Carolina has done it. Back to back national titles. Welcome to the 2012 NCAA Division I Baseball Selection Show. Presented by Capital One. You see that right there? That's what everybody wants. Over the next 60 minutes, we will show you the 64 teams that will compete and try to travel right down that road to Omaha and the College World Series. Dari Noka joined by, let's call it, five total All-American appearances. Former Stanford All-American Kyle Peterson, as you see here on your left, and then Ben McDonald, screen right. Of course, a couple All-Americans, a number one draft pick out of LSU. What does this time of the year mean to you gentlemen? Best time of the year if you're a college baseball fan. I mean, you know, today's one of those days when you were playing ball that everybody would kind of gather around and figure out where you were going to go. But I think the other thing, especially in a year like this where everything is so wide open, you're not quite sure. It's those teams in the bubble, not quite sure if they're going to get in. We've seen in recent past, if you just get into this tournament, you got a shot. Absolutely. I think it's a great time of the year for the players, too. I mean, school's out, finals over. It's all about baseball. It's almost like you're a big league guy now. Only thing, you wake up in the morning, there's no school, you're worried about baseball. We're going to find out where everybody's going today, who's in and who's out. How about the seventh overall seed, LSU, the Baton Rouge Regional, where the Tigers open up against another Louisiana school. That is Louisiana Monroe, your Sun Belt champs, into the field for the first time since 2000. Belmont also making its way down south as the Atlantic Sun champions, and they open up against the Pac-12's Beavers of Oregon State in for the seventh time in the last eight years. Pat, what are your thoughts about uh, this regional, the field you're in? Obviously, you know, going to LSU, uh, you feel like you're going to one of the more hostile environments in college baseball, so maybe uh, that's good. I feel like being a number two seed is uh, somewhere we thought we'd probably end up. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good regional, obviously, with LSU, and we'll have our hands full, and um, we just need to go down there and play well. And, and uh, generally, when you go in places you haven't been, and, you know, you get to get down there early and make some adjustments. So we're looking forward to it. I know you haven't played LSU, but do you have any familiarity with anybody down there? Not yet. I mean, but we will. You know, I've seen them on TV, but we'll we'll get a good scouting report and we'll be prepared for what they have. I know their starting pitching is outstanding. They got a lot of speed. Um, like I said, I think the, their environment, their ballpark is is something that's pretty impressive, and we'll have to be able to handle that. Does last year or previous years of going through this, how does that help you guys get ready for something like this? Well, I hope it, I hope it helps us. You know, we went to Florida a couple years ago, who's the number three national seed, and um, we've had some tough draws. You know, anytime you go to a, to an SEC school uh, this late in the year uh, is a tough draw, you know. And so I think that being there is helpful. Uh, being Going to Florida, we went to Virginia. Um, you know, I think our guys will handle it fine. You just got to play the game. You know, we got to play well. And... Uh, and uh, like I said yesterday, wherever they send us, we'll go, and hopefully we'll play good baseball. And you know, that's the key to the whole thing is to play well. Uh, SEC, a different style of baseball than the top guy? Well, um, I don't know if it's a different style. I think that they're certainly not laying down as many bunts and trying to play as much small ball because their ballparks are more conducive to hitting the ball in the ballpark. I think they look for power arms. You know, you got Gosman, the kid that we recruited as their number one guy. <clears throat> He's about as good as anybody in the country. So, um, you know, we just we got our hands full. Well, Matt, you've been through this before. What's your reaction to seeing your, where you're going and uh, what's coming up this weekend for you guys? It's a it's a it's a great honor and it's pretty special. You know, we got to uh, freshman year we got to go to Gainesville. Last year we got the host, and this year we're going to another SEC school. So, you know, it's a uh, you know LSU is a good ball club. So is Belmont and uh, was it Monroe the other team in there? Is another Louisiana team, so you know from here on out everybody's good. It's his 0-0 record, and uh, you know playing fields even. Well, Ben, what was your reaction to seeing where you're going, who you're playing, to some of the thoughts about mm -hmm. this morning? We're excited. It didn't really matter where we were going to go. Just kind of trying to figure it out, and then once we found out, we're just excited, ready to go play whoever we got to play. Taylor, for everything you've been through here, I mean, in 08, you pitched well that year, but no regional. So this is your first chance to get yeah. to be part of something on the field. What are your thoughts about all of that? Yeah, no, I'm excited, ecstatic, I guess, uh, would be the word that uh, comes to mind. But, um, 
just excited to get out there with the guys. It's, I know it's going to be a, a bloodbath down there, you know, so it's, uh, it's going to be exciting. Later in the regional, you know, pitching can be the difference. I mean, what do you feel like your role might be, you know, later in the regional? Um, you know, it, it just depends. You know, it really depends on how the regional goes and, and uh, you know, wh whatever I need to do to, to uh, get our team to the next level or next step, then I'll, I'll do that. Your travels, Jake, have you ever played baseball in the deep south and that kind of humidity and all of that stuff? Have you ever in um, or Yeah, I've I played in, you know, Miami, Florida before. I played down in Florida, so... I think you know we're definitely going to need to start hydrating right away and uh, get ready for that weather. But it's a little bit different than the the Northwest. But um, you know it's no different. You know going in there, baseball doesn't change. Nothing changes for us as a team. So we just have to go in there like we did this weekend and you know the previous weekend against Washington State and just you know stay together um, when things are going bad or things are going good. Just uh, you know keep it even keel in the dugout and just. Uh, you know, scoring as many runs as we can and getting as many zeros as we can on the board. What do you think of that draw? Uh, I'm excited. You know, uh, LSU is going to be fun. It's going to be fun to go all the way over to uh, Louisiana, Baton Rouge. Um, I hear it's crazy over there. Uh, so we're pretty excited to go down there and, um, you know, just keep playing baseball the way we've been playing. Uh, hopefully we can keep the, keep the train rolling a little bit. What are you most anxious about or anything like that, having it be your first go at it? Um, well, obviously, I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of it. Um, I'm excited to, um, to get back out there and, you know, try, try and keep this season going. Um, you know, we're taking it one game at a time. Um, and, uh, you know, we just want to keep it going, see how, see how long we can, we can take this thing. Once you know regional sites, how much are you guys, after the win yesterday, paying attention to places you might want to go versus not want to go? Uh, not at all. Like, I, would, I don't really care where we're going. Was, you know, we, I knew that we'd be in, and it doesn't really matter who we play. It's about us, you know. And if we play good, we can beat anybody, so. You feel like you're playing as a team your best baseball in all phases right now? Yeah, uh, definitely. That's one thing we talked about after the game. That was a complete team effort this last weekend we had from – starting pitching to which wasn't even as good as it has been you know but they still battled uh, their butts off and the bullpen which has kind of been a little you know shaky at times this year but the, the, it was really good this weekend and you know our hitting was it was clutch you know and that's that's what you need you need timely hitting so from a whole like team perspective I think that was the best weekend that we've had so far and it's came at a great time at the end of the regular season heading into the postseason so um, yeah I think we're all excited you know that we can keep that rolling. What kind of confidence does it give the guys knowing that you, the number two seed, you took two out of three from and you swept the number five seed? Yeah, well, that's a, that's a great point. You know, we've got two national seeds that we won the series against. And um, uh, obviously Stanford is a, is a host team, and, and we took the series from them. Oregon's a host team. We swept them. Um, so hopefully our guys can say, hey, we can play with anybody in the country, and it might be a little tougher environment than playing in Baton Rouge and Corvallis. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to handle that too. And how do you feel the, the confidence team coming off a big series win compared to years past when maybe you know weren't so strong at the end of the year? Hopefully that's, that's uh, something that we can really build on the momentum of winning and winning three against uh, a national seed and um, you know doing it in pretty good style and uh, um, just knowing we're going down to play a great club and in a great and there's more than that too you know I mean every team that gets in the tournament I think is probably uh, some of you going to have to contend with and um, it happens to be LSU's regional, so we're talking about them quite a bit. But we're going to have to worry about the first game and and try to win the first ball game. In your in your experience, does momentum count for a whole lot heading into the postseason? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, there's there's times, you know, I think in 07, you know, we had no momentum at all, and then the last weekend we got huge momentum going down and winning two out of three at UCLA and getting in, and that really carried over. Um, you know, I don't think that. Um, Coasting into the postseason is exactly what you're looking for, but you know I don't I can't think of us being in any better situation as far as starting the postseason the way we ended the regular season.